Hello folks and welcome to Four Season Backpacking. Please subscribe for the latest outdoor adventure videos. Okay folks, well I've got some um, water from the River X boiling from near the source of the River X and I've got a Beyond the Beaten Tracks um, Beyond the Beaten Track uh, ready meal steak and uh, vegetables Diced and beef, vegetables rich in savoury gravy. Mmm, sounds nice. Uh, can eat cold or hot. I'm going to eat it cold again. And information on the back. And there's my coffee. I'm going to show you what this looks like inside the packing. So there you go. This is uh, inside the packing. Let's take vegetables. As you say, you, as I say, as with them all, you can boil it in the pot or you can boil it. Or you can um, cook it in the pot or boil it with water in the pot. So. Um, so let's open it up and see what it looks like inside. Okay, this is what it looks like inside. And please remember, you can um, buy these Beyond the Beaten Track uh, meals uh, from my link on um, the description on this video. Um, the Amazon link and you'll be helping me by giving me a percentage of the sales but it will not cost you anything extra to use my Amazon links than you would normally pay so you'd be helping me and you'll be getting a delicious meal well folks that was lovely actually that one I'm sure they taste even better warm um, as I said in the description there's a link for Amazon where you can buy these and it helped me out as well. Okay folks, I had an okay-ish sleep last night. Just gonna get the tent down and get ready to go on my way. And I've actually got to go that way. So it's lucky I did stop here and not go the other way because I figured out that um, MW does not mean Macmillan Way, it means two Moors Way. So a little bit confusing when you got um, two trails just going on a crossroads going different ways and the initials of the trails are both the same and they're just using the initials of the trails for um, the signage, very confusing. Okay, there's a really steep section here and the easiest way down looks like through this boggy, probably a stream, probably really boggy and wet but that way looks super steep with this bag and slippy because it's all wet. Over there I can't see anything so I don't know if I'm going the right way but I'm going the right direction so state of my bag I had to take the little bag off the back to lower it down it fell in all the mud this bit's really steep don't look it on the video but it is let's go through this boggy ravine which is the least steep of the both sides then I think I have to go that side I'm not sure so that's that's my little backpack back on my big backpack Ready to go down there, hopefully it's not quite as steep now. Bastard. Just seen a fucking trail that goes around here. Then up through there. I think that's probably where I'm supposed to go. Not down this fucking hellhole. No signage whatsoever. Wow. The mist has just opened up to this great big hill in front of me. I've got a feeling I've got to walk up that. So I probably should have come down that path there. It's beautiful along here now the sun's coming out. I think I've got to go along here. Oh, so I was work walking down the steep bit. Totally the wrong way I think. Hopefully I'll go the right way now. I'm glad this path is quite wide because it's quite slippy at the moment. quite steep, it's not vertical, but I don't think I'll stop with this bag if I slip down there. So, this path is actually on the Macmillan Way, which I've done already, and I can tell you, this, what one is it again? I think it's a, I think it's a Macmillan Way East. I think it, uh, is the one from Castle Kerry to Barnstable. There's one that goes from Boston, I've done that one, I know there's one that goes from Boston to um, Abbotsbury, I 
have done that one. But the one I didn't like, I'm sorry to say, because it is a good cause, the uh, Cross Britain Way, I found it, ah, it was, the challenge with that was finding somewhere to camp because it was on constant plat, um, farmland and the time of year I did it, they were all being ploughed. Like it was just constantly ploughed and manured fields, gates. Gonna, there were some good bits in it, but it's my least favourite of the um, McMillan Ways. All the other ones are great. I, I rec highly recommend them, but I'm sorry I can't recommend the Cross Britain Way unless you like walking along really sort of like busy farmland. It might have been the time of year I did it, so it might be a little bit unfair to say that. But there's a lot of interest in history, so you know, what I don't like, you might like. This ain't funny. Right, I'm gonna probably have to use both hands. Well folks, you definitely need gators for that bit. That was really deep. Even through the, the Midland Way that uses this path goes through a lot of uh, farms and stuff. It tends to take quite high high ground, the highest ground in the area I think. So you tend to find quite a lot of places to, to camp, wild camp. And it passes through some interesting, some seriously interesting places. Um, even the end-to-end -end trail, uh, official, well, not it's an unofficial trail, but the end-to-end -end trail by foot, um, it's a guidebook you can get, um, which I did. And it includes, I think it might include this. This might be in it. Part, it, it, it includes parts of the Two Moors Way and Macmillan Way, anyway. It includes loads of trails, but I think this could be one of them. Okay, according, to, according to my trail map, it should be up there on the Macmillan Way, but I just tried going up there, it's really steep and slippy. And that's a false summit, by the way, it's even higher than that. Um, but I've looked on the map and this river does actually come out where the Macmillan Way joins the road anyway. This goes to the road, so fuck it, I can't go up there. I'm just, I just have to fucking walk in the river if I have to, to the road, because somewhere I went wrong on the trail. Okay, well, this is it's gonna be wet, wet boggy, but at least I'm gonna get there. And I mean, it is fucking super boggy, I can see it already. I'm wondering if I can step up here without fucking falling into the river and breaking every bone in my body. This is absolute shite walking along here. Not liking it at all. It's supposed to be up there. I don't know what went wrong. Looks like I can cross the river maybe and get up there. I think I see a sort of route I could get to the top I might do that because this is uh, this is more boggy than I thought it was going to be yeah I'm going to have to turn the camera off I need to concentrate ok folks I've seen what looks like a path at some point along the top of here hopefully this is not too hard to walk along the top it looks easier than the bottom of here so I've decided to go back up, go up this way instead. Oh God, this is shit. Absolute fucking nightmare. Fucking sick ridden fucking hell. This is what it's all about, folks. Okay, folks, well, looks like I found a way out. I can see a way out. Even if I have to go through someone's field, just fucking, fucking walking through any more of this shit. Fucking nightmare. It's, um... I probably made the same mistake when I did the Macmillan Way all in one go. I think I probably did. And I'm not sure if I did actually. I might have walked up to the top of that hill then. Maybe I had a lighter bag, I don't know. But as you can see, it's, I don't know if you can tell on the video, but it's steep. It looks bloody steep from here anyway. And where I was walking up from, it's quite a fair way up. To be honest, so it's good to do it a different way anyway. Anyway, I'm going to see if I can get some droning.
the side, it's supposed to be on the other side. I don't even know if this is a route, it might be just like where the cattle walk. Because they're path all the way out now. So, yeah, it seems like a, some kind of route anyway. I hope. I see a gate. I see two gates. How steep is this? Um, trying to think which way to go. Which way would be the easiest? I think down this, just down here. Well, almost to the road now. So it took me bloody a couple of hours just to do less than a kilometre. Unbelievable. Very boggy. Fairly yeah, steep path, but path is fit pretty wide. Colours are changing now, as I said before, even more now. It's pretty cold last night, I think. There's no frost yet, though. I was 400 and some metres up, but I am right in the south of England. Okay, there's a little tricky bit here. I've got to turn the camera off. Oh, I'll just come all through there. It took me long enough, but I found a path in the end. The path I should have been coming down was probably the path just over there. But I just didn't see a route up. And I've, as I haven't got a guidebook for the Midland Way, there's no way of knowing which was the easiest route up because it was all, all I could see was steep, steepness and no nowhere where people are trodden so yay I made it to civilization the road which probably has no cars on a day <laughs> do you know what I think I've done the official route going up there twice so remember first time thinking god this route's really steep going up there and I remember on the end-to-end -end trail I'm sure this end-to-end -end trail went through here I'm thinking Shit, I remember this. It was like a really steep route when you least suspect it after going through Scotland and everything. But yeah, I'm pretty sure it was this because I've in my memory a really steep route on what well, I've done twice at least, anyway. Yeah, actually, when I did it, it was all overgrown as well, so it's hard to see the path, but you can see it today and you can see it goes right up there. But when I did it, it was all deep in ferns both the times. Interesting. It's definitely a steep route. I uh, say Exmoor has got way steeper hills than um, Dartmoor. When, uh, when you uh, kind of lose direction like I did back there, I knew which way I'd go, you just lost the path. But it's hard to see where the path is sometimes when it's a steep hill. You can't see where it is. No signs or anything. Um, it's, um, it's best just to stop a while have a drink and just chill out for a bit and just think what you're going to do next and look at your OS map on your phone or if you've got a map, look at a paper map. Well there's a sign for the Macmillan Way, so first one is in for ages, it says Mac, obviously short for Macmillan Way, not MW, which is also initials for two miles away and Macmillan Way, so that got a bit confusing. So yeah, I've got to go up this way. Hey! <laughs> oh. It's funny how you can remember bits of hikes that you've done in the past. You think, I'll never be here again. Never thought I'd be here again. Been here twice probably already. Seems weird being here again, but it's nice. So folks, I can see Dunkery Beacon. Dunkey Beacon, whatever it's called, right up there. So I've got to walk all along here. It's just come to a nice bit of path now. Before it was just really walking over all the peat, but now it's just come to this. I think it goes along there. I found there on that moorland right up over there. Don't know how far it is. It's quite far. Well, the nice dry path didn't last long. Quite nice how deep this is. Need gators for this hike, man. Oh, this is fucking. Looks like they started doing the path decently. Just give up. 
for like about 100 meters or so. Uh, um, it's not too boggy now, it was. It's hot, it's actually quite hot. It's, it's probably not really hot just because I'm walking with this bag and the sun's shining on me. Um, I can see Dunkery Beacon, I think it's Dunkery Beacon. Oh, got my sign coming up, it doesn't say Mac on it, but it is the Macmillan way. Oh, Jesus, I'm gonna sit down here for a second. Oh, fuck. Okay, so it looks like this is the way. Okay, so that's where I just came from. Now I'm on the road, I've got to go up this way. I think I might remember this. Coming towards where I come off the road. Okay folks, well if you bring your horse and carriage up here, you guys have got to go through that gate just there. So folks, I've got to head the Exford way along here and I've just come from down there. Uh, he stopped, stopped for a coffee break, didn't take the shoes off and uh, dry the tent because it was a very misty and damp morning. The tent was absolutely wet, drying my socks. Um, and then I'll carry on after this. Just had uh, my coffee, dried the tent out for a bit, sat there for a bit with the boots off. Now what you want to do when you're on a long hike and you're wearing thick, sort of boot, big, sort of four season boots like I am at the moment because it's that time of year when it can either be still quite warm yeah, I've got everything. I double check always uh, nothing left behind yeah it's that time of year where it can still be really hot in the day or it can be really cold okay it's feeling a bit more dark more now we're getting higher up we're coming up to uh Heading towards is it Dunkery Beacon? That's the highest point in this national park. It's about 500, 550 odd meters high. Such a nice day. Not even seen one person out walking. Made it back to civilization, folks. Yeah, there's a road. Oh, oh, oh. Well, folks, I've never been so happy to see the uh, Port Lock post. Somerset, well, I'm in Somerset, that's what it says on there. Port Lock, Stoke Perrot. Um, I am going along this four wheel drive track actually off the road over there where that marker is. Hopefully, it's better than the last bit of the Well, folks. It says two and a half foot to Dunkery Beacon. But it doesn't say if it's kilometres or miles. I'm hoping it's kilometres, but it doesn't really matter if it's miles. Anyway, it's right up there. The path since Paulock Post is much better. I mean, if, it, if the path was like this the whole day, I would have been there hours ago. Uh, there's been some Krypton Factor type challenges on the way. So, 